Hello, I am Ann Young and I am a graduate of Indiana University School of Music. I received my Bachelor of Music in Heart Performance in 1992 and then proceeded to stay at IU for the rest of my degrees, including an artist diploma, finishing a Doctor of Music in Heart Performance and Literature with minors in Music History and Music Composition in 1998. I came to IU to study with Suzanne McDonald, a distinguished professor of harp at the time. And through her incredible artistry and teaching, I really was introduced to the world of the harp at IU. I also had the opportunity to take classes on campus with invested and inspiring professors, such as my thesis advisor, Austin B. Caswell, who taught musicology and in the honors division. And in this environment, I was always challenged to keep an open perspective, to be curious and also to maintain a sense of humor, which I think is pretty important to navigate in the arts today. Currently, I am Professor of Music and Area Chair of Strings at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So I went to IU, but I now work at U of I. Here I've been able to continue with some of the interests that I've always sort of pursued have been investigated, such as new music, whether it's collaborations with my colleague Jonathan Keeble as the Aletheia duo in expanding the repertoire for flute and harp as related to various themes, or also bringing the opportunity to premiere and create new music for all ages and levels, such as a harp jam that we have done at the Illinois Summer Harp class each summer, which is to premiere a new work written by another IU harp alum, Julia K. Jamison. Uh, so I think it's important to provide this opportunity to see how people might discover the possibilities they might not have imagined before that point. I also get to teach students to help them find their own individual pathways and continue their curiosities as well as write both scholarly and practical articles so that can hopefully share these experiences and knowledge with a broader field. Some key events in my musical journey um, would include in 1990, I decided to enter the two highest divisions of the American Harp Society's national competition uh, because I had learned a repertoire. So I went to the competition and surprisingly I won. And then they changed the rules so no one could enter two divisions again. So I have a somewhat infamous line in my bio, at least to this point. Um, so in that sense, it did launch my musical career, certainly visibility wise, but it also taught me to navigate unexpected outcomes, both on the stage and off the stage. I also happened to cross paths with my first director at Illinois, which was James C. Scott, who hired me. I happened to be playing at a National Flute Association convention in Phoenix on a concert of commissions by Carolyn Sense of a work that I had recorded with her and she was also had been a former IU faculty and he came to the concert and he told me that there might be a possibility of a part time job in harp the next year. He had also been an associate dean at IU. And I don't know if I had not been here and he had not been aware of some of my activities performing with some of the faculty or some of the competition prizes, whether or not I would be where I am today. Another key event is that I got to know Linda Wood Rollo, who is the founder of the pre-college harp program at IU while she was there. And she was also founding editor of an international journal, the World Harp Congress Review. And when she finally decided to step aside from that position, I was both daunted and honored that she supported me in stepping into the editorship role. And through there, it's been really an amazing experience and opportunity to learn more about the world. And it's something that I did for over a decade. Some lessons I learned along the way, maybe most importantly, be curious. Um, in one way, that allows you to be resilient and to be versatile, not to presume so you don't limit yourself. Also to be professional in whatever you do, your reputation is your most important asset and that continues on the stage, off the stage, on the page, off the page, and that you are always conducting yourself in a way that you never know who's listening, who's watching, and that you're also a good partner to partner well, whether it's things that you are bringing to the partnership or those that you are partnering with. I think it's so important to be conscious of the network that you're always building, even if you're not aware of what it is, so that you're ready for the opportunities if and when they present themselves, and to challenge yourself the way to know, and also to not only bring what you can bring to the table, but also to build those opportunities for others. I often tell my students to both learn well 
land well, and then live well. In some ways, in a broader sense, I think a lot of the trends and challenges have been there in this field, but now we're in a different variation in these sort of unprecedented times. In some ways, we're able to connect more, and I think that connection is so important, but we also have realized how important it is to collaborate and to continue to collaborate and find ways to collaborate in new creative ways. We have new ways of reaching out and putting things together, but we also find in some ways that there are challenges to that. So I think connection and collaboration and also good citizenry. I mean, I think in one ways, if it only affects those that we're most familiar with and not beyond that, then that's not going to really benefit the whole in the long term or make it possible to explore and express the arts and continue to develop it. So I think also curation is going to be part of the issue. Uh, we have so much content now, so it's wonderful in some ways because it opens the doors, but then it's also who gets to create it, who gets to be heard. Is it only those that have the system behind them, the support or don't have or have the resources? So I think that's another key issue or key trend that has always been there, but now is going to be developed in a way, and that relates to access, really. I think it's going to be so important as we find it's really important to be responsible and to look outwards in some ways to make sure that we are still connecting, collaborating in new creative and imaginative ways. Because in some ways we are able to connect but in some ways we can be even more disconnected because we can always self-select what we want to listen to, what we want to hear. And so that's why I would say continue to be curious, to be generous too, and also to just always see what there could be more perspectives or new ways that you can both express, explore, and make it possible for not just yourself, but others to contribute to the arts. My name is Anne Young, and thank you for listening to my career journey. Thank you.